we'll chat about the, the game on Saturday uh, in a moment, but the big news this week is there's a new head coach going to, to be taken over. So is it a relief for the squad to sort of know what the, the long-term plan is now? Yeah, I think so, yeah. It's nice to have um, just somebody to come in now and uh, take over, really. It's been a bit up in the air since uh, Matt left unexpectedly. Um, so yeah, it's just good to have a bit of direction now, I think, and um, hopefully we can just get back to it in ways. And Ben Garner, is he a coach that you've, you've come up against in your playing career, someone you know, knew much about? Uh, so no, not really. I, I sat on the, the bench for Bradford the two times we played against Swindon the year he was in charge there. Um, so I just, uh, yeah, just watched our team a few times and see that they like to play out from the back and it's a different style of play to what we are currently doing. So I'm sure he'll come in and try and introduce um, something similar. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully he'll, he'll introduce some more exciting uh, style of football that hopefully our fans will enjoy. And he will be there to watch against Bradford on Saturday, your, your former club. How do you kind of look back on your time there because you were fat on loan, you came back and you, you've been at culture. So, so what kind of are your thoughts when you look back at Bradford? Um, just really happy ones. I had a, had a good time there. Obviously I didn't, I didn't play many games, but um, you know the staff and the players there were really, really good and had an enjoyable time. But... I won't be focusing a whole lot on that to be honest. Um, it's more about us. We we're in a place where now we need to go there and try to get three points and, and, and get ourselves moving up that table again. So for me the focus is just on on, on coaches, you know. And focusing on just just perhaps there's been massive improvements in the, the defence and the way you're you're playing with that the back three and the, the wing backs, but is it just about cutting out those those little mistakes and making sure you're not not conceding needless goals. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think um, I think the change over between Matt Bloomfield and, and Ross coming in that maybe set pieces they weren't um, maybe as organised as they should have been. So I think kind of let ourselves down in that aspect the other day, and obviously conceded from one. Um, so we just need to get back to making sure everything's organised before the game and, and making sure people are doing their jobs right. Yeah, and it, it's just fine margins, isn't it? You've had a really good run to move yourselves away from, from the, the wrong end of the table, and it's just about sort of tightening those things up and then perhaps finding those combinations attacking-wise to, to really push on. Yeah, yeah, I think it just confidence is, is a big thing, obviously, at the moment. We're not, we're not scoring a whole lot of goals, but we, we've had some really good play and we've just not really had that, that cutting edge, that... Um, final bit where you just stick the ball in the back of the net so hopefully once that comes then you'll start to see him a lot more confident a lot more um, uh, you know chances and, and goals hopefully as well and for, for you personally you had to divide your time a little bit when you first came in and wait for that opportunity but but now you you've have a regular game time you're a mainstay in that starting level that must be really pleasing that you've been able to, to make your mark yeah yeah I mean I came here to to play and, and help the team as, as much as I can and yeah, like you said, it took it took a few games to get in, um, and deservedly or rightly so because the lads are playing so well. Um, but I just come in and tried to, you know, show my ability and show what I can do. And thankfully, so far, anyway, it's it's gone not too bad for me. And just looking to to kick on again, really.